<clears throat> Man. I get I get choked up, guys. Love that. I surrender all of my dreams. I surrender it all to you. Oh, I gotta tell you, just absolutely so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just, I have to tell you, I listen to that music and it just lights me up inside. I just literally feel, I just feel God's uh, Holy Spirit anytime I hear her sing. She's a uh, singer from the church uh, that I used to go to in Carlsbad. <clears throat> it's called North Coast Calvary. It's just amazing, amazing church. Great pastor. Um, isn't it neat how in different chapters of your life, you've kind of like different pockets of churches you went to or people that you knew or Bible cities that you went to. <clears throat> the word era is kind of too big uh, for some of these times because, you know, sometimes they were just for a couple months or six months or other times they were churches that maybe you went to uh, for a period of your life. You know what I mean? And who even knows? I mean, can you even remember um, the uh, churches that you went to when you were like younger, younger? Gosh, these are so dirty. I can't even, they're not even going to help me today. Um, <clears throat> I'm just so glad my mom uh, raised us the way she did. I'm glad my grandmother um, raised us. You know, she's the one who taught me the Lord's Prayer so funny. It was just really important for her. I'll never forget this. When we moved from Hawaii back to Indiana, um, <laughs> it was one of the things that she wanted to, she had little stuffed animal, little bears on our um, beds. And then she had like this book. It was like kind of a cartoon kind of, and it was the Lord's Prayer. And that's how I learned the Lord's Prayer. I was eight years old. Eight or nine. And my grandma has no idea how deep that seed went in me. Um, it's just, man, that Holy Spirit grabbed onto me and just never let go. And he's never let go. I mean, never let go. Church, in church, out of church, hurt by different Bible studies, uh, empowered by other different Bible studies. You know, the thing of it is what you guys got to remember is that God will never, ever fail you. God will never, ever fail you. Now, uh, what'll happen is uh, Satan will put roadblocks in front of you. And, um, you know, I, it's interesting. I almost kind of just think, you know, sometimes when we even talk in terms like that, it intimidates people and it just... It, it kind of doom and glooms people into believing in God. I just don't, I don't believe that's just not how I carry my faith. And yes, God has a wrath if he wants to punish. And um, he has that ability. I almost think that like, and I know this is going to just be a radical thought. But to me, um, when I say God is all powerful and omniscient, like it's no kidding that he is. I see him every day at work in my life. Every single day, I see God at work in my life. For example, um, we just got this puppy, right, for Christmas. And uh, she is just, chews everything, gets into everything. But there's just something about when I see her little face in the morning, she's just got these, like, bright little eyes. And her little face just, like, she's just like, rah, rah. she's just always, like, she's just always awake and up. And I just think if we could all just... I capture that power of the puppy. <laughs> I think I might, uh, maybe that'll be the title of this one, Capture the Power of the Puppy. I might uh, have that as the name of my, um, what is going on up here? I might have that as the name of my uh, class, The Power of the Puppy. Um, and, and what's kind of neat about it is she's just, like when she wakes up, She's just like really effervescent and very curious and 
awake and just her eyes are just like boom, 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 boom. And she moves like a little piece of popcorn. I mean, she's like boom, 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 boom. She's so freaking fast. I don't know how she's so fast. It's like, um, I don't want to gross anybody out, but she's like, you know, like people don't like rats. That might kind of gross like a lot of people like, like, but she literally moves like fast, like a mouse or a rat. Like that's how fast she moves. She's just like, she can just like, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy how fast she can move. And, um, it's just, it's fun to watch her. It's fun to watch her grow. It's fun to see like her ears are now starting to stand up. Um, she's, uh, engaging with my other dog. She loves to, um, I'll try to put some videos in of her at the end of this video, but she loves to, uh, total sidebar note. I'm driving to work right now and it's so funny. This happens <clears throat> a lot where, um, I will literally like right in front of me is a, is a truck and it has a, um, it has a phone number in it and, um, it's promoting, it's, it looks like it's a uh, sleep train, it's hard to stop a train, or I don't know, Absolute Heating, no, it's a heating and cooling company, called Absolute Heating and Cooling, anyway, but they have a number, phone number, and it says Southern Arizona, and it's just so, it's so, it's weird, I've been here, what, it's, it's going on two years, and it's just weird to me to see, like, a billboard, Southern Arizona, I don't know, it's just kind of funny, if you ever, guys, when you've moved to an area, um, totally away from your normal and you see a um, you see a billboard and you're like wow I guess this is where I am this is where I live I mean it's just weird it's just like it's only like a second that, that that occurs where you have that kind of like you know out of body experience Whew. crazy I love what is about to happen I'm gonna go in and teach body works you guys this is like a fat blasting uh, workout. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, to fat blasting, body toning. I kind of compare it to like kind of a hit workout, where I will get their cardio going. Should I try to park here? Is there's a oh, is there a spot down here? Oh yay, there's a spot down here. Um, so it's pretty much a pretty cool workout. Um, anyway, you guys, puppy training. It's puppy time. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to try to vlog after my class. Uh, so you guys can kind of journey with me. It's going to be a fun little journey today. Love you guys. See you soon in the next vlog. Bye. Mwah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Literally, I taught class uh, from 9.45 to 10.45. And I've been sitting in that parking lot. It's like 12. I mean, 10.45 to 11.45, I mean, almost like an hour and a half, two hours. Oh my gosh, you guys, too funny. Um, class was amazing. I'm gonna run home and I'm gonna shower and change and walk the dogs and then I'm gonna go to, uh, I think I'm gonna try to go to the keynote show. I might. I might swing over to Speedway and see if that show's going on. See if they have anything going on over there. Um, I am kind of cold. I wish I, I should have just changed in the, I should have just changed in the locker room. Um, but you guys drinking your water? Oh, I'm very, very behind. This is like, I didn't hardly drink any water in my class. Um, huh, yeah, I gotta go home though. I gotta get a battery for my phone because I want to film and I can't film if I don't have my, um, I don't have my battery. So I'll go home and shower and change and anyway, you guys, class was absolutely amazing. It was so good. It was so fun. Um. I totally forget I'm teaching yoga tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a crazy schedule. I've got to get up, I do La Mariposa, and then right after La Mariposa, uh, my aqua class from 9.30 to 10.30, I literally jump in my car and um, I have to be out of there. So it's gonna be like kind of crazy. Tomorrow's a crazy, crazy day for me. 
Um, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of thinking out loud. Anyway, you guys, um, class today was amazing. It was just, oh, so good. We had so much fun in class. It was awesome. We did lunges, we did squats, we did sumo squats, we did uh, hit tar uh, cardio, we did heavy weight, we did light weight, we did shoulders, we did back, we did chest, we did abdominals, we did functional Pilates, we did some stretching yoga. I mean, we just literally like get it all in. It was just amazing, it was a great class. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. And my students there, everybody's just getting, it's just so much fun, we had a great little, great little turnout lots of uh lots of uh fun there and then I just love Jeannie Jeannie is one of the aqua teachers there and when she taught and I tell her this story all the time when she taught I literally I I cried after her class and it was tears of just joy just meeting just meeting a uh just meeting a woman that is um you know, grounded in herself and just grounded in just, you know, just being her fabulous, delicious self. Yeah, I think I want to go to Kino's. So I'm going to run home and just walk the dogs and get everybody so they've had a little stretch, a little stretch, stretch about. And then I'll take you guys with me in the car and uh, we will uh, rock and roll over to the Kino show and I'll have an extended battery so that'll be nice yeah I'm just gonna go home that's what I'm gonna do yeah that's what I'm gonna do um oh you guys it's for, it's so funny I'm freezing for some reason it's because I'm uh, cold and sweaty and um, I need to get home and I'm gonna probably take a hot bath or a hot shower but I feel really good. It's just so nice to have energy. Um, when I first started teaching, I was in so much pain. So it'll be exciting to kind of see. It's going to be exciting to see where I am in a year. Because um, Jeannie was just saying she's going on a, a running trip. And um, that, that'll be exciting. She wanted me to try to sub for her, but I'm just, I teach so much that I just can't even, um, yeah, I can't even, oh, you guys, I'm so cold right now. It's so terrible when you, like, sweat, right, and your body's cold. I've been sitting out there, um, chitter-chattering. First, I was talking to Nancy, and then I was talking to Beth, and, um, then, uh, I was talking to Jeannie. So I, I literally, I felt like I was like, uh, I don't know why this reminds me of Charlie Brown, but isn't there a cartoon where Charlie Brown is like sitting at an advice desk or whatever and everyone gives him a quarter? It wasn't like I was giving people advice. I just kept talking and then one person would leave and then the other person would come in and then I talked to them and then they would leave and another person would, it was just funny. But it's just nice. It's nice to feel that social connection. I'm just starting to just meet some really nice people. It's taken forever. It's taken like two years, but... You guys, don't give up. If you move to a new city, just tell yourself it's going to take you, like, especially if you're an older adult, it's going to take you, it'll just take you a couple years to get yourself grounded uh, where you actually start meeting people and you start kind of feeling like you're part of a community. You kind of got to, you know, at the same time, it's kind of like I tell myself, gosh, I wish I would have done this right when I, when I moved here. Um, but I was in so much pain when I moved here. Um, I was just in so much pain from just physically from the move and just the stress. It was just, yeah, it was, I needed to be able to kind of get my, my feet wet. So you guys, my Chuck and Jen light is still on, but they're ordering the part and, um, they're going to have that part in soon. So, oh gosh, doesn't that sunshine feel so good? Oh, thank you, sunshine. Thank you. So I wonder how much this is. This seems like it's a little bit more than a 32 ounce, so I'm going to measure this when I get home. Because my goal now is to work up to a gallon of water a day. Like, that's what my goal is, is to work up to a gallon. And what I probably should just do is just carry around a gallon of water a day, you know? Um, 
The only thing is, and what's nice, what's nice about drinking a gallon of water a day, I mean, just to actually have the gallon is you just know where you are, but it's also kind of like, it's so cumbersome carrying it around, you know what I mean? Like one of these is nice is because it's probably going to be about, maybe it's going to be three of these. I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know. Um, but anyway. Beautiful. Oh, you guys, that sunshine feels so good. Feels so good. I have so many things I want to talk to you guys about. One of the things is just don't give up when you're moving to a new area. Um, you know, just always believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities that you have. And um, what a good person. That person is such a good driver. The other person ran the light. And the other person's like a like a Josh driver. Josh is such a good driver. He's so he's very conservative. He's a great little driver. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of time myself. Cause that this will be exactly ten minutes. So I'm trying to like wonder what's faster. I wonder what's a faster way to go. I should I should uh time that. Oh, now it's cold. It's so funny, like, when the car rolls forward. I have heat seaters. I wonder if I turn my heat seater on. I wonder if my heat seater works. This car, you guys, is 18 years old, so I don't even know. I don't even know if it works, my little heat seaters. I don't think I've ever even tried them. Let's see if they work. Anyway, you guys, I am just so on a little rambling, rambling. I am so sorry. But I'm just so happy. I feel like really happy inside. I feel like, um, I wish I could let everybody know how good it feels to be like healthy and eating well. And I wish there was a way I could extend that like uh, gift to people um, when they're frustrated or when they're tired or whatever. You just have to get up and do it. You gotta go to classes. You've got to start to, you know, have fish, broccoli, asparagus, steak, or if you're a vegan, you know, eat eat in a vegan way. I, I can't do the vegan because I need to have protein. I can go hypoglycemic really fast, so I need to have uh, protein. You know, but you, I totally respect vegans. But you, I mean, I totally, I have like tons of respect for vegans, uh, vegetarians, but I am a meat eater. Uh, I do try to stick to free range and, uh, you know, cruelty, uh, free or aware, you know, like chickens, I try to get my eggs that are like free range, um, and my vegetables and stuff. I love to, uh, buy from, uh, you know, markets and stuff, you know, local like farmer's markets. And I like to cook that way. Um, and my husband's such an amazing sport cause he loves to, uh, you know, he partakes in all of my, he loves my cooking, which is so nice. It's just nice when your husband thinks you're a rock star. <laughs> my husband thinks I'm a rock star. Anyway, you all, oh my gosh, it's so cold. I'm going to run in and take a nice hot bath, you guys, because I am so freaking freezing. I'm freezing, freezing. Um, but I'm excited to get outside. So I'm going to try to walk the dogs real quick. Um, you guys know I have a little spirit palm. I'm going to try to put some uh, pictures of her in this uh, vlog too for you. So you can kind of see her. Um, but I love you guys so much. Uh, rock and roll. I want you to, uh, you know, listen to your body. Listen to your mind. Listen to your spirit. And uh, hopefully I'll be right back. And we can rock and roll and um, have this vlog be better. Setting your light. Setting your truth. And above all else, be aware. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.